Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Freely and today's video is going to be a comparison video between a $200 lens adapter and a $40 lens adapter. Which one's better and should you spend $200 on this one or save some money and only spend $40? Um, that's today's video and let's get into it. So if you don't know what these things do, they basically um, allow you to mount your EF lenses, which is um, the DSLR lenses for Canon, and mount those EF lenses on top your mirrorless camera. And now it'll be able to go on top um, any of Canon's mirrorless APS-C sensor size cameras. So like the Canon M50, M6, M5, and all the other ones. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so what we're going to do is I'm gonna put um, the adapters on one by one and just see how they fit. But first, let's just do like a quick overview between them two. So this is them side by side. As you can see, it's the Canon and the Movo, just like that. So the Movo one looks not as shiny as the Canon one, as you can see. And over here, the Canon one has a dot, a red and white dot up on top, while the Movo one has nothing. And their connections look pretty much the same. So yeah, there's, there's not much that separates this one the $40 one and the $200 one. So let's put them on the camera right now. I'm gonna put the mobile one on first. Match up the white dots. All right, so it, it fits well and there's no wiggle to it, but let's try out the first lens, which is going to be the uh, 50 mil 1.8. So let's try it on. All right, so we have our subject here. It is a little amiibo. So let's see. Let's see if it can focus well. All the focus seems to be working. So as you can see, it, it's the Movo does really well with the 50 mil, and there seems to be no problems here. So let's try the next lens. Okay clicks on very well. So I'm having a little trouble here. Um, I can't, yeah, if you look, oh yeah, see that? Um, we had this problem before. It has two zeros. It's currently shooting at F0, guys. That's the best you can get. But look, when I hit the record button, it doesn't allow me to record. Or even, let me try to take a picture. Yep, I can't even take a picture. The 24 to 105 doesn't quite work on the mobile the Movo version of uh, the lens adapter. So yeah, that's quite unfor unfortunate. So let's try the 70 to 200 next. Okay, there we go. Man, it got very, very heavy. So we were having the same exact problem. It's in F0 and it's just not, just not able, you're just not able to take any pictures nor or video. Um, let's see, turn it to video. Yeah, it's just not working. There's a little bit of a wiggle here, but I don't think that the contacts... Oh, whoa. So I wiggled it a little bit. Oh, and now it's able to take video. So let's see. Okay, so what's going on right now is that um, the autofocus doesn't quite work with this lens. So this, this lens is a 70 to 200 and it has autofocus and the autofocus button is on but it's just not focusing. All right, so for this, uh, for the 70 to 200, to get it to work, you kind of have to get like wiggle the mount where the mount and the lens meet a little bit and it will it'll finally come up. So as you can see there, it says F4, but it doesn't allow for autofocus. And this lens is autofocus. Um, if you can see here, I had it on manual focus and the manual focus is the only one that works. If you put on autofocus and try shooting, yeah, it just it just doesn't work. So yeah, so in conclusion, with the 70 to 200, it will work, but only in manual focus. So the last lens we're gonna try is a fish eye. So now we have the Tokina fish eye, 10 to 17, F3.5 to 4.5. So let's just see how it goes on top of the Movo. So, has autofocus. 
All right, so it seems like the fish eye does really well on top of the Movo, and I think it's the best one right under the, the 50 mil right here. So in conclusion, the Movo uh, lens adapter doesn't work with all of the Canon EF mounted lenses. So let's go into the Canon lens adapter and see how that does. And this adapter is $200 retail. Um, but luckily, I, I got mine for only 90. If you stick to the end, I'll let you know how I got it for 90. But let's try our first lens, which is going to be the 50 mil. So let's put it on. Alright, let's see how it does. Okay, let's go with this autofocus. So the Canon adapter obviously is gonna work much better than the mobile one. And yeah, it just works really, really well. Let's try on the next lens. Now we have on the 24 to 105, and let's see how this one does. So the autofocus on here works, and you didn't have to wiggle it or anything to get it to actually um, like adapt and actually be there instead of having an F0. Um, so that's really cool about this. All right, so here, here we're using the 70 to 200. I'm just going like back and forth between the lens adapter and the Amiibo back there. So, so the autofocus seems to be working very, very well very smooth and the bokeh is just amazing so, so there you go that was the 70 to 200 it's working very very well with this lens adapter and it looks very good on the canon m50 by the way if you want to buy any of these lenses all of them will be linked down in description so the last one we're going to test out is the fish eye so let me get that on right now all right, so here we have the fish eye on top here. And let's just see how it goes. And there we go. So let's see. Yeah, it's working very well. And so as you can see, the Tokina fish eye works very well with the Canon adapter. So all in all guys, in between the $200 Canon uh, lens adapter and the $40 Movo lens adapter, I'd say, just go with the original Canon adapter um, and just spend the extra money to get this one because at the end of the day, you're gonna want this to be able to adapt your lenses. And this one can adapt 100% uh, of the lenses that we tried today. And the Movo one can only uh, um, adapt 50% of what we tried today. Also, I forgot to mention in terms of weight, the Canon one has a little bit of weight to it while the Movo one is a little bit more lighter. And it just, the Canon one just feels a lot more higher quality and like you got what you paid for. Speaking of um, paying for, um, I actually bought this for only $90 on Amazon. So I'll have the Canon lens adapter linked down below. To get it for only $90, all you have to do is go to the use section um, for these lens adapters and just find the cheapest one on there. The reason why it, this one was only $90 was because it had little cosmetic damage. And I don't know if you can see that right there. It's just a little bit of like an aesthetic thing. But yeah, this is only like a visual thing. This doesn't dis detract from the actual usability of this item. And the seller also had a 30 day uh, money back guarantee. So even though it was like a, a visual thing and it did end up that it didn't work, I could still return in 30 days. So I just saved $110 on this. So I have a link down below, but yeah, if you really want to adapt your EF lenses, uh, definitely go for this and buy it used because it's almost the same exact thing. And once again, if you want to buy this t-shirt, check the description also for 15% off your order if you use the, uh, the coupon code FREELY. So check it out. All right guys, so that's gonna be the end of this video. Check the link in the description if you wanna get any of these items. I'm um, sorry I haven't been posting lately because I recently started work and it's been taking up all my time and my energy, but hopefully I can get something out at least once every two weeks or three weeks or a month. But with all that said, thank you guys for watching this video and uh, I'll catch you later. Yeah, see, Do you get it? Cause catch you later, mm -hmm. catch you later. <laughs>